Hi, this is Severin from the 3D Applications team. Loading image data is one of the most basic operations in Aviso. Other than with 2D images, there are not many standardized file formats containing 3D images. This tutorial guides you by means of examples on how to load the different kinds of 3D images into Aviso. In particular, this tutorial covers the following topics. Using the file Open Data Brother and setting the file format, reading 3D image data from multiple 2D slices, setting the bounding box and voxel size of images, reading raw data. However, this tutorial does not cover the following topics, which are covered in separate tutorials. Managing units, loading multi-channel and time series data, large data. The Aviso file brother. Image data is loaded in Aviso with the file open data dialog. All file formats supported by Aviso are recognized automatically either by a data header or by the file name suffix. What follows is only of concern in these cases. The automatic file format detection fails, or 3D image data is stored in several 2D files, or the data is larger than the available main memory. In most cases, the format of a file is determined automatically either by checking the file header or by comparing the file name suffix with a list of known suffixes. In the load dialog, the file format is displayed in a separate column in detail view. Example, files containing the string aviso in the first line are considered aviso files. Files with the suffix .stl are considered stl files. If automatic file format detection fails, for example because some non-standard suffix has been used, the format may be set manually using the file Open Data As dialog. Reading 3D image data from multiple 2D slices. A common way to store 3D image data is to write a separate 2D image file for each slice. The 2D images may be written in TIFF, bitmap, JPEG, or any other supported file format. In order to load such data in Aviso, all 2D slices must be selected simultaneously in the file browser. This can be done by clicking the first file and shift-clicking the last one. Open the file Open Data dialog. Browse to the teddy bear directory. Select the first file teddybear000.jpg. Shift click the last file teddybear061.jpg. Click Open. Setting the bounding box. When loading a series of bitmap images, usually the physical dimensions of the images are not known to Aviso. Therefore, an image read parameters dialog appears that prompts you for entering the physical extent of the bounding box. Alternatively, the size of a single voxel can be set. In Aviso, the bounding box of an object is the smallest rectangular axis aligned volume in 3D space that encompasses the object. Enter 1 in the first, second and third text field of the voxel size port. Click OK. This method will always create a dataset with uniform coordinates, that is to say uniform slice distance. In case of variable slice distances, the stacked slices format should be used. Please refer to the user's guide for more information about this special format. Reading image file as raw data. A number of simple file formats are actually raw data, that is to say the list of pixel values are directly stored in a specific order in the file. For such formats, the file may start with a header or a companion file that indicates at least the number of voxels and perhaps additional information such as the pixel size, information about the data generation. Even when Aviso does not recognize the format, the raw data reader may allow reading such images, provided you know at least the dimension of the image. For an example, please open the file grain.row using the file open data menu. The file is located in the tutorials slash out of core folder in the Aviso install directory. As the input data is raw, you need to fill in the raw data parameters dialog. In the present case, data type is 8 bit unsigned. Dimensions are 256 times 256 times 256. 
Note that the corresponding data size is automatically computed. So the header size can be deduced from the file size. If the header size is displayed negative or with a very large value, this may indicate that the type or dimension may be wrong. As a summary, in this tutorial, you should have learned how to use the Aviso file browser, read 3D image data from multiple 2D slices, set the bounding box, and read image file as raw data. Goodbye, and thank you for viewing this tutorial.